Good evening, everybody, and welcome to the stream. I appreciate you all being here. It is Tuesday night. We are going to play three rounds of Old School Magic. Um, it is June 8th at 8 p.m., so we're going to be playing three rounds of Old School Magic with the Northern Paladins as part of the Tuesday Night Gauntlet. So if you want some more information on the Tuesday Night Gauntlet or the Northern Paladins, head on over to northernpaladins.com. The link is in the chat right now. So... First things first, we need to go with our color chooser, and we need to pick a new color for um, the frame around me. So let's uh, see what we can do and spin that wheel. Wheel is spinning a little bit slow today, but uh, we will see. All right, it's on artifact again. All right, so I think uh, think we're going to need to spin that one more time. I don't want to stay on artifact. That doesn't make any sense. That's not all that fun. All right, let's see what we got now. Okay, we went to gray. All right, so we will change uh, the frame around me to gray. Turn off the artifact frame. All right, so I uh, appreciate everybody who is here tonight. This is my regularly scheduled stream. I play three rounds of Old School Magic each and every Tuesday night with the Northern Paladins as part of the Tuesday Night Gauntlet. Um, let's take a look at the deck that we are playing today. We are running Big Red. So... Big Red has uh, big red creatures, if you couldn't tell by the name. So uh, some stay on the battlefield for a while and some do not. Uh, we've got uh, Ball Lightning. It's a 6-1 for 1. It has haste, so it attacks the turn it comes into play. It costs me 3 red, but uh, it is a pretty efficient beater um, and can deal a lot of damage in a short period of time. Yidwin Afrit also costs triple red, it, but it stays on the battlefield. It is a 3-6. Now has the caveat of when it blocks, you flip a coin, and if you lose the flip, it gets removed from combat, and the other creature uh, becomes unblocked. We're not going to be doing much blocking with that today. This is a 3-6. We're going to turn it sideways. It's going to be hard for people to deal with unless they have, you know, terrors and swords to plowshares. Mountain Yeti. 3-3 um, three, three for 4. It's got Mountain Walk and Protection from Light. Well, why would we want to have Mountain Walk in the main deck? Well, you see halfway down your screen that I also have Blood Moon to turn the non-basic lands into mountains. Four copies of Juggernaut, 5-3, has to attack every turn. It is an artifact and it costs four. Three copies of Org, five mana for a 6-6 six, six with Trample that cannot attack unless if my opponent has an untapped creature with power greater than two. 
Um, everybody knows Shivan Dragon, of course, a 5-5 flyer for, uh, for 6 and for 1 red mana. Um, you can pump its power. And then you see one lone copy of Granite Gargoyle. That is a 2-2 flyer for 3. For 1 red, I can uh, uh, pump up its defense. We've got uh, 4 Lightning Bolts, 2 Chain Lightnings, 2 copies of Bloodlust, 1 copy of Fireball, the 3 Blood Boons that I mentioned, uh, the... Uh, of course, I've got uh, Chaos Orb, one copy of Jalem Tome, one Wheel of Fortune, four copies of Mana Vault, uh, the appropriate color mocks, the ruby there, a soul ring, uh, a lotus, and then uh, 17 lands. So let's take a look at what we are running out of our sideboard today. All right, so I'm playing Mono Red. So, uh, of course, I got a full suite of Red Elemental Blasts. I do have a city in a bottle. Yes, the Yidwin of Freets are from Arabian Nights, but I can always board them out if I want to. City in a Bottle is there for uh, opposing uh, uh, Arabian Nights cards, and if they are running a lot of them, then um, I think that we can uh, uh, we can uh, nail somebody with that. Uh, two copies of Black Vice. Uh, if somebody's playing some kind of control deck like uh, Land Tax or something along that, those lines, Black Vices should be good. One copy of Falling Star. To complement the copy of Earthquake there in the sideboard to deal with creature decks, two shatters and a shatter storm for artifacts, flash fires because white is bad for us um, with their swords of plowshares and their circles of protection, um, and then two copies of Never Nero's disc, which are a nice catch all for that. So um, that is what uh, we've got going on today. I do appreciate everybody who is here today. So, uh, uh, Old School Guard and LeBrooks, thank you very much for joining uh, the, the stream today. And uh, we should have our pairings here in uh, just a moment. Uh, we will see what we have uh, coming up here soon. Um, so, uh, again, this is my regularly scheduled stream. You can join me each and every Tuesday night at 8 p.m. Eastern. I play three rounds of Old School Magic with the Northern Paladins as part of the Tuesday Night Gauntlet. Coming soon, I will be streaming. I know I've been teasing this for a couple of weeks. Um, Final Fantasy Randomizer. So uh, what uh, we are going to do with uh, the Final Fantasy Randomizer, um, every single Monday, um, what's called the Duckling Weekly comes out. Uh, the Duckling program for Final Fantasy Randomizer is for the newer players to, to get accustomed to... Um, accustomed to the game and uh, become better at the game every monday right now um they unveil the uh uh the seed for what's called duckling boot camp eight weeks of uh final fantasy randomizer seeds geared to get the newer players better and better and better so um it it premieres on Monday night, the actual seed comes out uh, Tuesday morning. Obviously, I can't play on Tuesdays, so um, I don't get to start playing until Wednesday. So um, I will begin my first practice seed tomorrow, um, and I will uh, probably stream uh, at some point in time during the day tomorrow. I'm not exactly sure when. There is um, a big tournament going on. It's called the Summer Tournament, and it is uh, the final start tomorrow. It is best of three. And I definitely don't want to stream in conflict with that because, you know, probably not going to get very many viewers that way. But um, that is what uh, we've got going on. And I'm not sure what's going on with our pairings. So, uh, oh, MTG Melee is being silly. All right. So we've got uh, Rich coming back to the stream. Um, so uh, new pairing received. Welcome Rich back in. And uh, we will... Uh, um have uh, a good time uh mark thank you for joining the stream i appreciate it appreciate the support everybody yeah with uh, our um nice little emote there um this is my uh, mario semicolon and uh, we'll talk a little bit more about that um in uh, a little bit but uh if you do um subscribe or if you're gifted a subscription uh, if you're a subscriber to my channel then you get uh, access to that uh sweet emote so um Let's see what uh, we got going on and see when uh, Rich is going to join. Um, and uh, then we will get uh, get the ball rolling. So um, for those who watched last week, uh, the Rich that uh, we will be playing is the same Rich that we played last week. Um, his, uh, his handle in chat is fascinating. And uh, he's the one uh, who uh, went to Georgetown. So... Uh, 
there's a fun little rivalry between us because of the uh, Syracuse and Georgetown rivalry uh, in college basketball. Um, I live here in Syracuse. Uh, I bleed orange, um, and uh, he was uh, a Hoya, so uh, he uh, his alma mater is Georgetown. So uh, no hard feelings or anything like that. It's just uh, it's a fun little thing so that uh, we can uh, play against each other and, and have round timer started. And, uh, you know, kind of just rib on each other about. So, um, for those who are not aware, I do have a Discord channel. And uh, the link to my Discord is in chat right now. So, in my Discord channel, a few things happen there. Um, I post my deck list early um, so that uh, you can see them uh, prior to uh, the event starting. I also uh, discuss upcoming streams and uh, occasionally ask for um, help or input from from the viewers uh, people who are in the discord uh, regarding things so uh, go ahead and click that link that's in the chat you can join my discord server and uh, you can become uh, a part of it so all right so here he comes and there we are so uh hey how's it going welcome back hey rich so let me uh you can hear me right to my phone i don't know why i gotta plug it in that's what I gotta do. So, can can you hear me? I can hear you as long as okay, you can good. hear me. All right. Yep, we're good. I mean, we could play that game again, like last week, right? <laughs> right. I write that little note to you last week. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's why I wasn't even sure if we were connected in the yeah. first place. So, so, yeah, I've been uh, putting together a bucket list, and on that list is beat Rich Bork in one game. <laughs> Not a match, but just one game. That's all I am asking for. There you go. There you go. So who knows? It could happen. Um, you know, I mean, you know, I play a, a new deck every single week. I don't know if you checked out this week's deck yet, but uh, no, I didn't actually. Yeah, something, um, something new and uh, something okay. different. And uh, I'm looking forward to uh, turning some some stuff. So uh, okay. <laughs> Soup Loop Let's... says, "Hint: Play sitting in a bottle today." <laughs> <laughs> Well, that was last week, Zoopaloop, when I had all those Arabian Nights cards in my deck last week and did not have to face a single copy of City in a Bottle. That was totally awesome. So, uh, But uh, City in a Bottle is generally a good card in old school magic. If you're playing multiple colors, chances are that uh, you're going to be running uh, City of Brass. So at the very least, it's going to catch those. Uh, Serendip mm -hmm. Freed is definitely a card that sees a lot of play. So... Um, It'll uh, hit a lot of them when the opponent is playing blue. Mm -hmm. So, yes. All right. I'm all set. All right. We can go middle on top. All right. Same. Okay. Okay. And you want to choose even or odd? Let's go odd. Odd. Okay. It is even. It is a two. Even. Okay. So I will play first. Good luck, sir. Good luck. All right, let's see what we got here. I will try this. Okay, I'll keep as well. And I will go mountain and I will pass. Okay. Draw. Let's go. Forest. Okay. Soul Ring. Okay. And pass to you. All right. Sounds good. I will draw. I will play another mountain and a Chaos Orb. Okay. And you can go. Draw. Let's go Forest. Okay. All right, let's put out the Ernie. Ernie Jim. Okie doke. And I'll pass to you. All right, untap. Draw. Well, that's a thing. Um, Mana Vault. Uh-oh. Juggernaut. Yes. And uh, you can go. Okay. So I now have a Forest Walking Juggernaut. That seems fair to me. You got it, yep. Draw. Hmm. Okay. So 
Savannah. Mm -hmm. the forest, and I'll uh, wild growth it. Wild growthing the same forest, or a different one? Uh, I guess um, I'll do this one actually. Yeah, okay. that's fine. All right. No, that's fine. And I'll tap two. And I'll play Nargodian Pixies. Oh, okay. Uh, let's see, a five three, huh? Correct. Yeah, that's pretty pretty nasty. Okay. Um, I'll pass to you. All right. So our Gothian Pixies, uh, two one for two, can't be blocked by artifact creatures and prevent all damage that would be dealt to the Pixies by artifact creatures. Okay. Um, untap. Um, upkeep trigger I cannot pay, so I will draw and I will take a point. So I'm at 19. Okay. Um, I am going to cast a Chain Lightning on the Pixies. Okay. And then uh, I am going to Forest Walk you for five. Yep. Fifteen. And then I will say go. All right. So okay. upkeep, it gets forest walk. Still in your upkeep, yep. I'm going to activate my chaos orb. Uh, go ahead. Okay. We're going to use my juggernaut as your urnum gin. So just okay. wanted to wait until after I had forest walk. Hit. You got it. And continue okay. with your turn. So I'll draw. Hmm. How many cards do you have in hand? One, two, three, four. Uh-oh. Okay. He's going to play a swamp and he's going to mind twist me. <laughs> I wish. Uh, okay, I'm going to tap a soul ring. I'll play an orb of my own. Okay. And, uh... Hmm. Actually, I'll pass it to you. All right. Untap. Upkeep trigger, I can't pay. So I will draw and I will take a point. I'm at 18. I will attack with a Juggernaut. I'll activate the orb. Okay. Here we go. Targeting the or You don't say targeting, right? You just say no, I'm going to use this yeah, as a Juggernaut. doesn't target. Yeah. So, yeah. Right. Okay. Using the soul ring. Nice. All right. Okay. And uh, you can go. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Five cards. This is my fourth card in hand. Okay. I'll tap four. Mm -hmm. um, actually, no. I take that back. I apologize. I'll tap two. Two. I'll okay. play a Sylvan Library. Sylvan Library. All right. Um, and I'll pass turn to you. All right. Uh, untap. Upkeep. I can't pay, so I won't. I will draw and I will take a point. I'm at 17. And I still can't do anything. Go ahead. Uh, my kingdom for a land. <laughs> Alright, I will look at three cards here. Something tells me you're not playing Urnum Geddon if you're playing Wild Growth, but I could be wrong. Let's see. You could be playing something like uh, De Silva Get or uh, the De Silva Dot deck or something similar. We're just going to go with one card. Yeah. All right. Let's play a planes. Okay. And how many cards do you have left now? Three. Three. Okay. Um, okay. Let's do one, two, three, four, five, six. That's a lot. Let's play a force of nature. That is a force of nature. And I will pass to you. Okay. Uh, end step, I'm going to lightning bolt you. 14. Oh, I, I just down. did it on yours. Sorry about that. To 12. 12. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. All right. Upkeep, I can't pay, so I will take a point. I go down to 16. Ah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. This is not going to go well. Uh, go ahead. On tap. I will pay the upkeeps. One, two, three, four. 
Okay. And I will look at three cards. Okay, I'll take one. Put this back. I'll attack for eight. I will take it. I'm at eight. Um, I'll tap three, take a burn, and I'll disenchant your mana ball. Okay. And go ahead. All right, so you said you're taking a point of mana burn? Oh, yes, I'm at 11. So you're at mm -hmm. 11. Okay, so I will draw, and I will scoop. All right. I'll get list achieved. <laughs> yeah. So you beat me again. Good game. Good game. You beat me again. All right. So, so I don't really know what you're playing other than red. <laughs> <laughs> so this ought to be interesting. I'm assuming you have more than a juggernaut in there. So. I'll look at that. Well, I had two mountains on the tail and I didn't cast anything, so. <laughs> Let's see. Alrighty, let's see. Actually, I think I'm just gonna do this. I'm not gonna go crazy. Alright. Better do this, or we will see. Let's do this because it's all going to depend on the draws. Yes, okay. Okay, I think this is well. Got some early beats going, but I just wasn't able to follow it up with anything, so yeah. So is this man getting mana screwed? Okay. Okay, so I will play first. Mm -hmm. um, you can put... Uh, Number one on top of number three, and both on top of number two. Okay, and you can put middle on top. Middle on top, okay. All right, I will play first, good luck. Good luck. Keep as well. Uh, mountain soul ring. Go ahead. Draw. Forest. Soul ring. Okay. And emerald. Go ahead. All right. Untap. Draw. Um, Jalen Tome. Go ahead. Draw. Savannah. I'll disenchant the tome. Okay. Um, tap one, I'll play birds, and I'll pass. Alright, untap. Draw. I will uh, blood move. 
Go ahead. Untap. Draw. Force. Tap four. Plain Arnum. Okay. And pass. Untap. Draw. Uh, I'm going to bolt the bird. And city in a bottle. Oh, nice. Yep. <clears throat> and you can go. Untap. Draw. Hmm. Actually, let me think about this. Okay. I'll uh, play birds. Tap four, I'll play Neb's disc. Okay. And I'll pass to you. Untap. Draw. Bolt the bird. Bolted. I will say go. Untap. Draw. <coughs> Horse. Go ahead. You can go. Untap. Draw. Wow, look, it's another land. <laughs> and you can go. Draw. Forest. Pass. Alright. Draw. Um, go ahead. Draw. Tap six, mm -hmm. and I'll play a uh, force of nature. Okay. And pass. All right, I will draw. Tap for one, for two. Mana vault. So now I've got four. Juggernaut. Okay. And I will pass. Untap. Draw. Take eight. Oh my god, I forgot to pay the upkeep. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. So I was thinking about the uh, the juggernaut the whole time. I totally the <laughs> it happens. I gotta pay more attention. Okay, I'll play a pearl. Yep. And I'll attack with the force of nature. Cards in your hand? One card. One card. Oh. <sighs> Okay, I'll take it. I'm at 12. Okay. Um, go ahead. Um, and step bolt you. Down to nine. And step bolt you again. Oh no. <laughs> yep, down to six. Uh, untap. Um, upkeep, I'll take a point. I'm at 11. Well, sorry, draw step, I'll take a point. Um, I'll uh, attack for five. I think I have to blow up this. Uh, how many cards do you have in hand? Three. You could have like a fireball or something. All right, I'll blow the disc. Okay. And uh, you can go. Untap. No, I'll keep <laughs> draw. Yeah. Uh, um, your Savannah is now a Savannah again. Yes, that is back. I'll tap four. Play another disc. Okay. And I'll pass. Draw. Ball lightning coming in at you. I deserve to lose that game. Yeah. I gotta pay more attention to the upkeep. <laughs> <laughs> you got it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You got it. 
Wow, so you had like nine, twelve damage just ready to go between the two bolts yeah. and the, uh, yeah. <laughs> the ball lightning. Yeah. It's like, oh, okay, well, let's let's do this. <laughs> yeah. I don't think there's any way. Maybe I should not have attacked with the force of nature. I should have just kept it a defender. Well, I mean, I would have gotten rid of the force of nature then, I guess, with one of the bolts, because you would have blocked. True. Oh, yeah, that's true, too. Yes. Let me actually change my I mean, it would have saved you some damage, but, I mean, you took eight points from your own. Of course. Not going to lie, that was kind of funny. <laughs> I, I hope that wasn't the first time that it's ever happened. Oh, I'm sure it's not the first time. I'm sure it won't be the last time that somebody ever does that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So. All right. I think. I'm going to bring this out. I'm gonna take this out. Put this guy in. Okay. Ah, Burt Reynolds, welcome to the stream. For those who are not aware, friend of the stream, Burt Reynolds. Um, he is also a streamer, and uh, he also plays uh, some uh, Final Fantasy Randomizer. So uh, go ahead and uh, click on the link in your chat right now. You can follow him. And you see that there is a clip from his stream going on up there in uh, the upper corner. So, uh, appreciate you being here. And uh, I'm sure he would appreciate uh, anybody else who would follow and uh, support his channel. I have actually something here on my desk, Rich, that you would appreciate. Oh, boy. So, growing up, I was a huge fan of Game Boy, right? Ooh. I keep it here, just for, like, old time's sake. Yeah. But this game you might appreciate. Oh, there we go. Final Fantasy. Here Final we go. Fantasy Adventure. Yeah. Um, I actually have never played any of the the original Game Boy versions of Final Fantasy. So. Oh really? Yep. You're missing out. <laughs> I, I, I know I'm missing out. Um, so I never made it a priority, and then when I sold all my retro stuff, you know, I mean, I mean, I do have a few things left, but uh, very, very mm -hmm. little. But uh, I, I never ever ended up uh, picking up the Final Fantasy games for Game Boy. So. That's, yeah. uh, that's a boo-hoo on my part. Maybe I should uh, see about playing ROMs or something along those lines. Cool. I mean, I was very young when I, when, I, when I played it, so I really did not know what I was doing. <laughs> I was just kind of walking around aimlessly, <laughs> waiting to be attacked. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it's good times. Oh, you can put the middle on top. Same. <clears throat> okay. You can do the same. Yep. I'm assuming you're playing first. Yes, I'll take the play. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hopefully no mulligans. What an interesting hand this is. I'll keep. I'll keep. All right. Let's do this. Um, I'll play a forest and a soul ring again. Okay. Go ahead. Such a savage cheater. <laughs> Love me a good soul ring yeah. every game. <laughs> uh, mountain, soul ring, tap for two, use one of it for a mana vault, and tap the mana vault for three more, so I've got four for a juggernaut. You were saying about cheating, Rich? Yeah. Right, <laughs> and you can go. That's a hell of a start, okay. Untap. I mean, uh, it's not soul ring on turn one all three games, but I did get soul <laughs> ring on turn one for two games, so, you know. Nasty. That's Six okay. mana and a juggernaut to start, that, that's, that's strong. Okay, so planes. Um, okay, I'll tap one. I'll swords the juggernaut. I will gain five. Okay. Twenty-five. Twenty-five. Um, I think I gotta slow you down. All right, I'll tap two, take a burn, and I'll disenchant your mana bolts. I'm not sure how you're disenchanting anything with no oh. mana. Are you sure? Just let me do it. Come on. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm joking. Oh, sorry. Totally. Uh, Untap. All right. So then I'm still at 19. I'm still at 19. Go ahead. No, you're not at 19. You're okay. at 20. Yeah. 20. Sorry about yep. that. Go ahead. Okay. Untap. Um, upkeep. I can't pay, so I will draw and take a point. I'm at 24. Um, Lotus. Oh gosh. Yeah. Shivan. 
Go. Are you kidding me? Okay, untap. Now that is a sweet card. That is just what the doctor ordered. Yeah, so this is a, uh, a Chinese artist proof signed by nice. Melissa Benson. That is sweet. I was able to get it uh, before her stock dwindled, so I was able to get it for, for 50 bucks before they jumped up to 200 and then 500 and now she's sold out. So I remember you once mentioned that you were able to really like pick up cards just before the spike. Yeah, right? yeah. Um, like yeah. a lot of a lot of stuff that I have, I was able to uh, um, get before things spiked, which is good for me, yeah. obviously. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> Very envious. You have oh, by the way, swords. Give you even more life. Okay, so I'm at twenty nine. Yep. Um, I'll pass. Untap. Twenty eight. Um. Chaos Orb. Yeah. And I will activate it now. Okay. We're going to use my Mana Vault as your Soul Ring. Go for it. Okay. You got it. And you can go. Untap. Wait, Force. The only artist proof you have is Lady of the Mountain Dick Badger. Well, I mean, that, that's still a pretty cool artist proof to have, not going to lie. Um, and anything, you know, a lot of the older older stuff, having artist proof of it is, is pretty cool. So There we go. Circle of Protection <laughs> Red. Yep. Did not tap my mana correctly. Okay, yep. I'll pass to you. All right, untap. Upkeep, I can't pay. I will draw and take a point. And I will cast a Jalem Tome, and I will say go. Okay. On top. Draw. Disenchant the Jalen Tome? Sure. Pass. Alright. I will take a point. I'm at 26. I will play another Mountain. And I will cast a Mountain Yeti. Cool. 3-3 three, three with Mountain Walk and protection from white. You can go. You just knew I was going to play a COP red, didn't you? <laughs> yeah. um, these perfect. are actually in the main deck, believe it or not. Oh, is that right? Uh, cool. Burt Reynolds says, I got my first Underground C for like 40 bucks. How things have changed. Yeah, um, I bought a complete uh, play set of revised dual lands, 40 dual lands for $200. So. <laughs> so this is interesting, actually. So this isn't targeting the Yeti no. if I were... If so Correct. I can still prevent the damage. Oh, Correct. Okay. Yep. Yeah, you're good. Okay. Draw one. Okay. Forest. Tap it. Um, wild growth. Okay. Um, okay. Go ahead. Uh, untap. Upkeep. I will not pay. I'll take a point. 25. I will draw. Attack for three. I'll activate the COP. Okay. And uh, you can go. On the tap. Draw. So three, three. Force. Hmm. Yeah. Tap four. And I'll play an Urnum. Okay. Pass. Uh, untap. I'll take points and draw. I'm at 24. Um, City in a bottle. Oh, yes. That's good. I will attack for three. Okay. Activate COP. All right. How many cards are in your hand? Two. I have three cards, and I will say go. Untap and draw. Yeah, pay, buying so cheap duels back in the day is definitely a common story. You might have to sell off your collection eventually. The prices like this <laughs> could have lived pretty well for a few years. Yeah, yeah, definitely so. Um, I mean, 
my wife and I, we live frugally to begin with. Um, I had a, a pretty decent collection of uh, modern legal cards before I got into old school. So um, um, I just dumped the modern cards and uh, got into old school. So. Probably a wise decision. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, I tap six crawl and I'll play a crawler. Okay. Yes. Seems good. All set? Yeah, go for it. All right. Untap. Upkeep. I won't pay. I will draw. I will take a point. I'm at 23. Cards in your hand? One card. One card. Um, I'll pay two. I'm going to just throw two chain lightnings at your crawl worm. Oh, nice. And then okay. I will attack you for three. Bring you down to 17. 17. And uh, you can go. Okay, whoops. Draw. I will pass to you. Uh, untap. Two cards in your hand. Um, I have two cards. And you have two also? Yes. Okay. Um, upkeep, I'm going to pay to untap this thing. I'm going to draw. I will attack for three. Activate the COP. Okay, and you can go. One sec. Draw. Let's play a planes. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's play a Craw Giant. Okay, and that's a six four? Six four trample with rampage two. Okay. And I'll pass to you. All right. Uh, untap. Draw. You have one card in hand? One card. I'm going to play an org. Could you remind me that card? 6-6. Uh, six, six. Um, can't attack if an opponent has an untapped creature greater with power greater than 2 and cannot block creatures with power greater than 2. Okay. And you can go. Okay, draw. Don't need it. Okay, I'll attack with the giant. I'll take it. I'm at 17. Tap to play pixies. Okay. And I'll pass to you. Uh, untap. I'll keep, I won't pay. I will draw and take a point. I'm at 16. <clears throat> play mountain. Never Nero's desk. Nice. And you can go. Two cards. One tap. One tap. Draw. Yeah. Alright, I'll attack with the giant. I'll take six. I'm at ten. And pass. 
uh, untap. Uh, upkeep I will not pay. I will take a point. I'm at nine. Play a land for the turn. And I will pass. What's that? Draw. Attack of Giant? I'm going to blow the disc. Um, okay. Tap six. I'll play a uh, Force of Nature. Okay. And pass. Untap. Two in hand. Draw. Your wild growth is gone. So oh, do yes, you have yes. mana to play a Force of Nature? You have to tap out. Yeah. Sorry about that, yes. No, that's yeah, fine. That. Six, yes. Yeah. Activate the factory and attack. Um... Okay, no blocks. Bloodlust it, take six. So I'm at nine? Oh, I'm sorry. What am I, I at you now? at sorry. 11. I'm at nine. 11? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, one, one, two. And uh, you can go. And tap. And I will pay the upkeep. Okay. <laughs> I'm not going to forget this time. Uh, and draw. All right, attack the force. Yep, I'm at one. Um, I'll pass to you. Untap. Draw. Play lands. Um, balling. That's good. Activate. Attack for eight. Yeah. Down to three. Pass the turn. Untapped. Pay the upkeep. Yep. Draw. I will attack for eight. Yep. I didn't think you were going to make the same mistake twice, but uh, <laughs> I, had to, I had to at least uh, put myself in a position so that uh, it could happen, right? Yeah, where I make a huge mistake, and it's totally possible. I thought you were going to bloodlust your... Uh... Or somehow you were going to somehow juice up the, <laughs> one of your creatures. I don't even I know if you have the right Somehow map. do something. Yep. I, I in my mind, I was like, this is Rich Bork. This guy always has a solution for yeah. everything. <laughs> um, that was fun. Yeah. Good I mean, it would have been nice if I, uh, um, uh, you know, if I drew uh, a flash fire, that would have been good. Yeah. Just draw my <laughs> plants, right? That would have been nice. That would have been fun. I but... think you saw all my beefy creatures in here. Yeah. Um, yeah, pretty much just trying to get the, the big boys out as quickly yep. as I can. Yeah. Yeah, definitely good, so. That, uh, I mean, that COP red uh, slowed me down a bit. I heard. Yeah. Um, you know, I had to take some hits that uh, um, I didn't want to take. And, mm -hmm. uh, um, you know, one thing was that uh, if you didn't ask what org did and just saw that it was a 6-6, six, six, then and just knew yeah. that it was a 6-6, six, six, that was... Definitely going to be in my favor, but uh, I'm not going to, 
you know, I'm not going to hide anything from you. It is a uh, six six with trample, but it's got caveats. So, it's one of you know, I, I just re realized like we've been playing each other. Oh. Uh oh. And I don't even think like you've seen me in person. So here I am. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's always a pleasure to play against you, and I definitely learn a lot from watching your streams. Um, well, that's kind of how I kind of got back into the game is nice. YouTube videos and actually watching your streams too. Mm -hmm. Kind of relearning the vocabulary and all that. That was a that, that was a big learning curve for me. Well, that's good. Thank you. I appreciate yeah. that. All right. All right. Well, well good luck you with your last two matches. on the plus side, and I am not on the plus side. So, uh, um, congrats on that, and uh, good luck in the rest of your matches today. Pleasure. You got right. it. Take care. Bye. What is it? So we did not get there, chat, but uh, that's okay. Um, uh, my deck just didn't want to give me mana. I mean, here's the thing. I am playing uh, a pretty landlight deck, but I figured that with 24 mana sources that uh, I wouldn't have the mana troubles that I am having so far. We'll see if it continues. Um, it, it is part of magic, part of the variance of the game. You know, we just have to, to deal with the hands that we are dealt. Um, you know, I do only have... Uh, Let's see, we've got, uh, I've got 16 uh, lands that produce red, um, and uh, then I've got, you know, the Mana Vaults and the, uh, the Mox, the Soul Ring, and the Lotus. So, um, I did board in the uh, City in a Bottle. I took out two copies of the Yiduin Afrit because I did not uh, want my city to bump heads with the, the Yiduin, um, but... Uh, it seems like that uh, the Yidwin actually would have been halfway decent on blocking if I could have won the coin tosses. So uh, we'll, we'll see uh, what happens. Um, you know, I wasn't expecting uh, Craw Worm and Craw Giants as well. So uh, that was uh, that was pretty cool. Uh, you know, I mean, that's a pretty, pretty fun deck that my opponent is playing with uh, the green and white with the... Um, the big dudes and the uh, like force of nature and, and whatnot. Um, I'm sure he's got COP green in there as well um, or uh, um, Spirit links or something along those lines. So um, well, Let's uh, report our match. So uh, yeah, I took uh, No, I took a game So that's a thing um, Which is fine and then, uh, yeah, um, so we're going to take a brief break. It looks like we've got uh, a few minutes left in the round. So um, I do appreciate everybody who is here. This is my regularly scheduled stream. I play three rounds of Old School Magic every Tuesday night at 8 p.m. Eastern. We do have two rounds left to go, so don't touch that dial. Um, I will be back with more. Stick around.
Welcome back, everybody. I appreciate you all sticking around through the break. Um, I did have to uh, go in, uh, attend to uh, a couple of things, but I uh, appreciate you all being here. Uh, this is my regularly scheduled stream. I play three rounds of Old School Magic every Tuesday night at 8 p.m. Eastern, so please don't forget to follow. Turn on those notifications so that you know when I go live. Um, at some point in time tomorrow, um, I'm going to do a, a Final Fantasy randomizer stream. So for those who are not aware, um, you take the original Final Fantasy game from the NES, um, speed it up a little, and then uh, shuffle around where the key items can go, and then uh, we race. That, that, that's basically uh, what it is. So uh, I'm looking forward to streaming some more. I do have some videos for Final Fantasy randomizer on my YouTube channel. Um, the link is currently in chat for my link tree which uh, you just uh, click on the link tree and then go over to my YouTube channel and you can uh, uh, follow me there and you can see some Final Fantasy randomizer and that's where all of my videos for my streams um, get uh, archived. So um, that, that's pretty cool. So um, if you want some more information regarding the uh, Paladin Magic, uh, the Northern Paladins who host the Tuesday Night Gauntlet, the Tuesday Night Gauntlet itself, um, Alpha 40 League or even uh, the A40 Plus, league that has just started head on over to northernpaladins.com and uh, you can get that information uh there uh general gist of paladin magic uh, that we play on tuesday nights you take uh the eternal central rules uh for old school magic um and then we subtract out mind twist library of alexandria at strip mine and then we restricted the mistress factory mistress workshop tabernacle at pendrel and maze of death and that's what we got for uh, a format so uh, definitely uh, um, a fun format I mean I've been playing it for over a year now um, I have a lot of fun doing it yes I do miss playing strip mines from time to time no I don't miss getting my hand wiped away with a mind twist um, I do want to uh, um, I do want to uh, you know play Library of Alexandria from time to time, but uh, you know it's uh, it's been a little while, and uh, who knows when I will play next. So, Burt Reynolds is big, big green tends to to beat big red. That matchup was just unfortunate. Yeah, it, it really is, and and part of it is that uh, um, I could get faster than that deck um, had I drawn the mountains, um, had I drawn the red sources, but uh, I didn't. And uh, because of the fact that uh, uh, I didn't draw the mana sources that I needed to put pressure on my opponent, he was able to stabilize and get those big fatties on the table that were uh, pretty difficult for me to deal with. And it was stuff that I would have to, I would have to two for one myself to deal with anyway. So um, the games were kind of close, but uh, they definitely could have been better. So uh, I would want to play four factories. It's one of my favorite cards. Yeah. Um, I really like Mistress Factory too. Um, I own nine Mistress Factories now. Um, I have a full set of Mistress Factories, uh, uh, all four arts from um, Antiqu Antiquities. And then I also have uh, four altars that uh, were, were done uh, by uh, Anders Schmidt. Um, they were uh, the reprint fourth edition i believe it was and they were reprinted in uh, uh and um he actually redid the artwork to make them look like all four of uh the um the seasons like in antiquities and then uh, my ninth mistress factory is the one that i play most often um and uh, i have in my deck today is this one this one right here and this is uh foreign black bordered artist proof so uh, um, it is signed by both artists so uh, when I'm playing in a format that only allows one factory this is the one that I use most often so uh, um, you know I was switching it up in playing other factories as well but uh, um, I just it gets to be a hassle <laughs> switch those up Every once in a while, but yeah, is what it is. So, uh, uh, Dick Badger only plays mostly EC. Uh, yeah, so I cut my teeth playing EC. Um, EC is Eternal Central. Um, I actually, uh, when I first started playing Old School Magic, uh, played in an event that was run by Eternal Central Rules, and I won the event. It was awesome. 
Um, it was a great time. It was uh, a nice introduction for me into old school magic, and I was hooked right away because I played modern and had dabbled in some standard um, at that point in time and just wasn't happy. Um, and then uh, with all the times that they're reprinting cards, uh, you know, uh, the, the value of the stuff that you already had just uh, starts going down and down and down. And it got so expensive to play standard as well. Uh, the general joke is that uh, if you play old school, it's because um, it's uh, cheaper than uh, than playing standard. Uh, and, that, and the reason being is that you have to buy cards um, on a very, very regular basis when it comes to to playing standard. So when they come out with a new set every few months, you have to buy new cards every few months in order to, to compete. And uh, that's uh, not something that was something that I wanted to do, especially because of the fact that things rotate out of standard. That meant that if you wanted to compete and you wanted to buy these cards that were $40, $50 a piece, um, they could become obsolete when the next set comes out, or they could be worth nothing upon rotation, or they could get printed into oblivion. So that's, that's why um, uh, I... You know, financially, it didn't make a lot of sense to continue to play standard, but I wasn't happy with modern where the uh, modern was um, at that point in time. So, uh, um, you know, I, I turned $29,000 worth of modern uh, legal cards into $21,000 worth of old school legal cards. Uh, so, you know, you might say, well, you took $8,000, an $8,000 hit. I didn't because I had a rather large collection of of modern legal cards uh, before modern became a format. So when modern transitioned into a format, I had a whole bunch of stuff. So I had exponential growth. And uh, I judged uh, magic tournaments for 16, almost 17 years. So um, I would also get paid with money and with product. So a lot of the stuff that I had in my collection wasn't stuff that I physically spent money on. So that is, uh, just one of those things that uh, uh, I amassed a rather large collection um, up until that point and didn't have to put a lot of dollars into it. So, hey Bruins, how you doing, man? Appreciate you stopping by. Um, so, I did that. And then um, my retro video game collection, uh, there was a, a spike because I started collecting retro video games before uh, there was a spike in prices. Um, before it was the cool thing to do um, and a bunch of my stuff went up in value then and then you know it slowly 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 went up but what was happening was really it wasn't going up all that fast um, and in comparison to like inflation uh, my retro video game collection really wasn't going anywhere so I dumped uh, a whole bunch of dollars worth of retro video games and put that also into old school magic. Uh, the power creep of modern and standard is beyond ridiculous at this point. Old school is how magic was meant to be played. It's so good. Yes, uh, I, I really dig old school magic. Uh, I definitely agree that the power creep is something. Um, I wish green was better in old school magic. Um, they you know, made a concerted effort to make green not suck as bad um, in subsequent sets. But uh, um, in... in uh, in old school magic, green is not the greatest color. It is considered to be the worst color um, by many. And, uh, you know, uh, the power level of the green card is much lower. Now, they're printing, you know, uh, four mana six sixes in green that have uh, trample and haste and silly things like that. You know, uh, and, you know, that's just a, a thing. So uh, green can be good in old school. I'm not saying that it's terrible. You can build green decks, and we just lost to a green deck. Um, but, uh, uh, you know, it's just, it, it's not as strong as, obviously, not as strong as blue. And then, uh, you know, white has uh, the awesome removal. And then, um, you know, red and black are also have their strong points as well. Uh, when you're playing in uh, the U.S., uh, black is strong because of uh, fallen, fallen Empires. You have uh, access to him to Torok. Um, and then obviously red has uh, the burn spells, uh, lightning bolts, um, is is a pretty good card. Last time I checked, so um, you also splashed birds in blue red skies, and that was pretty good also. Interesting, interesting. Uh, so uh, 
let's uh, we'll take a look at today's deck. All right, so why did I want to run red today? Well, I just got my Gideon and Freights, and then I once again wanted to show off my sweet uh, new lightning bolts. So I got these lightning bolts that are signed by Christopher Rush. They are German limited. Uh, some people will uh, call it German revised, where it's technically not accurate to call it revised, but regardless. If I said German revised, most people in the United States are going to understand what I'm talking about. So um, I wanted to play uh, Lightning Bolts again and uh, get a win of Freet, And I figured, well, what the hell, I will play uh, Mono Red today. Uh, Ball Lightning is fun because for Triple Red, it's a 6-1 um, creature with Trample and Haste. So you can deal a lot of damage for not a lot of mana investment. Uh, Juggernaut 5-3 that has to attack every turn. It is an artifact creature and it only costs 4 uh, the Mountain Yeti is a 3-3 three, three for 4 with Mountain Walk and Protection from White. It might have been okay against my opponent last round, but, uh, you, know, it, it, you know, it just came out so late that it really, really didn't matter. Uh, Org 6-6 six, six for 6. I'm oh, sorry, 6-6 six, six for 5. It has Trample. Um, it can't attack if the opponent has a creature with power greater than 2, and it can't block creatures with power greater than 2. So, um, everybody's favorite flying red dragon, uh, Shivan Dragon, 5-5 five, five for 6 for 1 red. You can pump its power. Uh, Granite Gargoyle is one of my favorite old school cards that doesn't see a lot of play. Um, it is a 2-2 two, two flyer for 3, and for 1 red you can pump its defense. Uh, Chain Lightning and Lightning Bolt. Uh, Bloodlust gives uh, plus 4, minus 4, but it can't reduce the toughness to uh, less than 1. Uh, Fireball, of course. Uh, Blood Moon should be pretty decent against some decks. Uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, the uh, Chaos Orb is a necessity when it comes to playing old school magic. The Jalen Tome is there to cycle through when I have some, have to smooth out some draws and things like that. Uh, Wheel of Fortune and 24 mana sources. So, um, out of the board, we've got uh, four red elemental blasts, one city in a bottle, two black vices, one falling star. That's my sweet artist proof. Um, so that's the reason why uh, you see it that way as opposed to with the uh, actual art on the front. Um, two shatters, one shatter storm, two never Nero's disc, one flash fires, and one earthquake. Phantom monster is dope. Yeah, phantom monster and rock of courages. All kinds of all kinds of cool stuff when it comes to old school magic, and some of it doesn't even see play. I even considered putting a rock hydra in this deck today. Um, you know, I was uh, debating back and forth, but I decided not to put a rock hydra in there. Uh, rock hydra is uh, two red and X for an X X creature. So zero zero comes in with X plus one plus one counters, um, and then uh, um, what uh, the hydra does is uh, instead of taking damage, you remove counters uh the plus one plus one counters from it or pay a red to prevent that and then you can play uh three red during your upkeep um and you can put uh a counter on so let's uh we'll, we'll put rock hydra there in uh, chat yeah so it's got all kinds of cool stuff going for each one damage that will be dealt to rock hydra if it has a plus one plus one counter remove a plus one plus one counter from it and prevent that one damage for one red, prevent the next one damage that will be dealt to Rock Hydra. And then for three red, uh, pay, uh, put a plus one, plus one counter, and you can only do that during the upkeep. I uh, really considered doing that, uh, but uh, I I opted out of that. I don't think it would have changed anything in that first match had I had the Rock Hydras, but, you know, we'll see. So, um, scrolling back through. Uh, Gargoyle has always been good when I've played, but uh, also played Phantom Monster in the seat. Okay, that's where the Phantom Monster con conversation came from. Uh, yeah, yeah. The Phantom Monster is a 3 3 flyer for four. Um, it get it got outclassed by Serendip Afreet pretty quickly because uh, Serendip is a 3 4 flyer for three. But uh, Phantom Monster is still fun. Rock of Courage is the same thing four mana for a 3 3 flyer. Uh, so it is just, uh, you know, a uh, uh, color pair with uh the phantom monster um yeah it's all kind of all kinds of cool and uh what's also nice about uh uh, uh sorry uh yeah what's also good about uh, granite gargoyle is that uh whether or not uh you are you know that 
uh, um, the flavor text on Granite Gargoyle is actually related to a card that is uh, about to see um, about to see print. So uh, um, if you look at, let me pull out my Granite Gargoyle and because I can't remember what the flavor text is and I don't remember if there is a command to pull up the flavor text. Uh, so, uh, plus, I mean, it also has uh, Sweet Art by Christopher Rush. Um, but uh, um, flavor text. Uh, while most overworlders fortunately don't realize this, gargoyles can be most delicious, providing you have the appropriate tools to carve them. And that is a quote from the Underworld Cookbook by uh, Asmaran and a bunch of letters after that. So the Underworld Cookbook is going to be physically manifested into a card in um, the, the newest set, uh, Modern Horizons 2. And so is Asmaran, blah, 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 blah. blah. Um, gets his own card as well and they are uh pretty decent cards so uh is a pretty cool throwback that they they would use um you know all these years later that they would use um you know a, a character and uh, a quote to, to put in a new set now obviously um asmaran has has its uh roots in pre-magic it isn't something that uh you know wizards came up with when they came up with magic gathering but uh um it is uh, just uh one of those things let's uh take a look to see what we've got all right so we are wow what is this uh okay i am playing against chris thompson so we will yeah okay so i will check in and we have our pairing and we will wait for our opponent so uh i will send him a message and we should be uh, ready to go here pretty soon so appreciate everybody who is here we are playing three rounds of old school magic tonight we're about to start round number two so we've got two matches to go round two and round three this is my regularly scheduled stream so please don't forget to follow turn on those notifications so that you know when i go live also if you have amazon prime which most people do now um if you link your twitch account to it that gives you twitch prime gaming and give, allows you to have one subscription each month to any channel of your store uh, of your choice provided that uh, the channel is an affiliate or a partner if you would use your uh twitch prime sub uh, on me i would definitely appreciate it um it would get a good thumbs up for me so um let's uh take a look and see Chris gonna join us? Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. But uh, I definitely appreciate everybody being here. Um, so uh, for those unaware, Angelo from the Northern Paladins is gonna be taking a step back from the Tuesday Night Gauntlet. He's the one who normally runs things. So uh, um, he is uh, teaching uh, somebody else how to to do things. So hey, how's hey, it going? Rich. Good to see you again. Good seeing you. Let me change. Round timer started. This on the stream. Put your name up there. Cool. You got some people watching today? Well, I'm sorry. What was that? I said you have some people watching the stream right now? Yeah. Yeah. We have about nice. a dozen or so. Uh, a little great. over a dozen. Looks like we got 15 people watching right now. Perfect. Um, do you have a way to set uh, your camera to uh, widescreen? Oh, I probably can second i gotta change the whereby settings probably yeah it says prefer widescreen when available and it's checked let me okay all right nope no big deal what i'll do is i will uh adjust the size of your play area for the stream yeah and i apologize for the glare i've got a light on behind me it's all good i still yeah do what you got to do, man. It's all good. 
Actually, let me turn this one on and see if if it's too much or if it's that better get or too much glare. Yeah, that works. More glare. Okay. I I need to get something that diffuses the light a little better. It's too direct. Yeah. Uh. So, um. I have uh. I have a a lamp here. Um. That that points up. And then I oh, have one across the room over here, and that also points up. Um, so I, I don't have direct light. Uh, the only direct light I have is, I mean, I've got two monitors in front of me, so. Yeah. Yeah, I think that, yeah, it's, it's really harsh coming from here now because mm -hmm. it's too direct. Oh, I apologize to the streamers. That's all good. We'll make it work. Anyway, yeah. Um, if you want to roll, I'll take odd. If you want to okay. just... It is odd. It is a three. Cool. Well, I'll go first then. Okay. Do you want to cut any certain way? I don't. I mean, right, if anyone no, cheats you're on fine, then. no, no contest magic online. Yeah. <laughs> we're we're in the wrong spot. Yeah, definitely so. I do want everybody to appreciate my sleeves. Yes. Yes. Milkshake. It says better than yours. Yeah. It brings all the orcs to the yard. <laughs> Alright, so you're playing first? Correct. One, right. two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Oof, 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 this is. You good? I'm contemplating it. It's a rough hand. Um, I'll keep it, I guess. I'll keep mine as well. All right. Land, go. All right. Draw. Mountain, go ahead. Uh, end of turn, bolt you. All right. 17. Ruby, Iron Claw Orc. Okay. Go ahead. All right. Drop. Um, factory. Yeah. Ruby. Oof. Nice. Chain lightning on your orc. Orc is down. Go ahead. It's gonna be a quick game, judging the decks. <laughs> Probably. Uh. Go ahead. Untap. Drop. Dwarven Ruins. Nice. I appreciate that. Activate the factory and attack. Sure. Bolt the factory. Okay. And you can go. Uh, bolt your face. Alrighty. Oh, wait, hold on. I... You're at 14. I... Alright, I'm at 14. Sorry. Yeah, go ahead. Cards in hand? Four. Four, okay. Draw. Mounted. You're doing a freight. Yeah. He is ridiculously good. Go ahead. The whole part about blocking, I don't ever want to have to deal with that. <laughs> That's it. Go ahead. Yeah, I just picked up one. I need to one get ten. a bunch more, but they're super rare now. Yeah. Draw. Uh, attack for three. Take it. Um, Back that for two. Org. Nice. Go ahead. Very nice. Iron Claw Org. Okay. Go ahead. Guess what? It doesn't have power greater than two. <laughs> yep. Drop. Ball lightning. Oof. Scoop. <laughs> Attack for a lot. <laughs> no, it's fine. 
I got stuck on that one land drop. I shouldn't mm -hmm. have kept the hand. <laughs> I, uh, the hand had three lightning bolts in it and an iron claw orc, so I was like, eh, if I rip a land and, like, it'd be a pretty aggressive start, but I didn't know mm -hmm. what deck you were playing, so it was a fool's errand. Well, I'm going to sideboard some cards out, and I don't mind you seeing something that I'm sideboarding out, because it doesn't appear that this card is any good against you. I also am sideboarding all Blood Moons out, so... <laughs> You're gonna you're gonna do amazing against one of the other people we're playing. <laughs> if you get Maybe. paired against him. Maybe. We'll see. Was... All right. I will take those car mystery cards out. Yeah. <laughs> three out, three in. I also apologize because there's a, a couple of really crappy proxies in here because I <laughs> could not go through my collection. I own the cards. It's just finding them. I'm not that worried about it. First of all, Paladin Magic is a proxy-friendly format. Second of all, I am a proxy-friendly person. So I have there no issues with people using proxies as long as I can tell what they are. Um, the only time I have a problem with somebody who's playing proxies is if they are... Uh, um, just using uh, a crude basic lands to uh, represent some things, specifically Moxon, uh, because yeah. of the fact that uh, um, a, uh, uh, a basic land that's representing a Moxon could end up getting mistaken for a land at some point in time, and yeah. decisions could end up being made that uh, uh, affect the outcome of the game based on that. Yeah. Anything I do, I turn a card backwards, and I just write a, on paper what the yeah. card is so it's yeah. easy to, uh, I drew a nice one of my proxies I drew like I started to draw something nice and like I'll eventually paint out a card like an altered art version but like the other one like I have copies of <laughs> I just have 16 decks I gotta figure out where the hell it, it ended right, up in right. yeah so, I mean I take my deck apart every week and then put a new deck together so um with the exception of when I play Seven Point Singleton, I rarely ever have um, a deck together for an extended period of time. And it's even more rare that I have more than one deck together. Um, I do have extra copies of cards like Banadrain and Brain Geyser um, and uh, yeah. Soul Ring so that I can flip flop them. Uh, so, so that I don't have to flip flop them. Excuse me. So. Yeah. And that's where I'm at, is. Yeah. Unfortunately, then, I only own a play set of, you know, Blood Moons. <laughs> right. Like, I'm, I'm right. not going to purchase more and than And, like, I mean, I've got, uh, I got the, uh, the proxies from Ken Mayer Jr. for the power and for dual lands, you know, just in case I want to throw something else together. If I want to have multiple decks together at the same time or whatnot. So, uh, you know, it's one of those things, you know, you just got to gotta do what you got to do. I'm not made of money, so. Yep, exactly. I'm mulliganing. Sorry. I'm gonna mulligan this all this hand also. Um, cool. I have mana, but I can't cast. <laughs> I mean, I have I had... a mountain and a soul ring, but I've got nothing else I can do. <laughs> I had really good hate and the mana to cast it, but nothing to back it up. So I'm kind yeah. of like, oh. um, you want to take seven or you want both two to six? I mean, we'll we'll just go. We'll do normal mulligan. That's fine. That's fine. Got a preference. If we both have to mulligan again, then we'll we'll do something different. Because <laughs> yeah, both of us having to go down to five would would suck. So, especially with us playing real aggro decks, like that's a really boring game. Right. Right. I'm gonna keep this one. Okay. All right. Yeah. Mountain. Orcish captain. Sure. Go. Uh. Hopefully, trying to focus on that. 
Okay, so let's see. Orcish Captain, 1-1 one, one Orc Warrior. Uh, for one mana, flip a coin. If you win the flip, target Orc gets plus 2, plus 0 oh, until end of yep. turn. If you lose the flip, it gets minus 0, oh, minus 2 until end of turn. Okay. Correct. Uh, it's a, the, the theme of the deck is Orcs and flipping coins, so he's... Okay. He's a fun, fun dude. <laughs> I'll draw. I will play a mountain, and I will say go. Land, swing the orc. No blocks. Your turn. All right, so I take one. I'm in 19. Correct. Draw. Mountain, go ahead. Swing the orc. No blocks. Just one? Your turn. Yep. Okay. I'm at 18. Your turn. Draw. Frown. <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah. That's where I'm at also. Yep. Both of our decks run at three minutes. Swing the orc. <laughs> yep. 17. Go ahead. Draw. Um, I'm going to move to my end step. Do you have anything before I discard? No. I'll get rid of a Juggernaut. Go ahead. Yep. Land. Nice. Um, Swain the Captain. Yep. Brass Claw Orcs. 3-2. Okay. Pass turn. Uh, end step, I will bolt the Brass Claw. Yeah, you will. Go ahead. Draw. Mana Vault. There's some mana. Uh, Jalem Tome. And okay. you can go. Ruby? Mm hmm. Orcus General? Orcus General? <laughs> orc General, yes. He can tap himself to sacrifice an orc or goblin to give other orcs plus one plus one. He's a 2 2 creature. Sacrifice another orc or goblin, other orc creatures. Wow, okay. So he's a 2 2. All right, sure. Uh, swing the creature. Yep. Uh, captain. Okay, 15. Go ahead. Uh, and step, I'm going to bolt the general. Yeah, you are. Makes sense. Okay. Untap. Uh, upkeep, I can't pay, so I'm going to draw and take a point. I'm at 14. All right. Um, I'm going to activate the Jalem Tome on my turn. Draw. Yeah. And I will, uh, I'll discard an org. Go ahead. Man. Some rough, rough mana situation. Swing the captain. 13. Orcish veteran. Orcish veteran? Yeah, he's a 2-2. One red, and he can be first strike, and he can't block anything with uh, any white creature. Can't block power. white creatures with power two or greater. That's weird. <laughs> and it can gain first strike. It's a two-two. All right. Yeah. Uh, go ahead. I yeah. The entire deck is really shitty orcs, so that, you're gonna have to fine. keep looking up really uh, bad untap, orcs. Uh, upkeep. I can't pay. I will draw and take a point. I'm at twelve. I will. Play a mountain, and I will cast a Yidwin Afrit. Okay. And you can go. What are his blocking restrictions? All right, he's a 3-6. When he blocks, I flip a coin. If I lose the flip, he gets removed from combat, and the blocked creature becomes unblocked. Can he choose another creature to block, then? No.
mountain. Orcish veteran. Okay. Uh, double lightning bolt the Afrit. Okay. Uh, swing the team. Okay, so that's three, right? Correct. Three. Am I nine? Yep. You're, yep, your turn. Alright, untap. I go to eight. Soul ring. I will activate the tome to draw and discard. Okay. Uh, I'll discard a bloodlust. Yeah. And you have two veterans on the table, right? Two veterans and a captain, correct. Okay. Um, I'm going to bolt one of the veterans. Okay. Untapped one, I assume. Yeah. Yep. And you can go. Yes, it's Orc Tribal, apparently. Yes, Orcs is the bestest is the get name of the deck. Yeah. Um, clearly, they're not the bestest because they're a terrible tribal. But I love them anyway. What's your life total? I am currently at five or eight. Excuse me. Okay. Attack for three. I'll take it. I'm at five. Double iron claw. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, untap. I won't pay. I go to four. Draw. Huh. I have outs. I'm going to draw and discard. Yep. Uh, I do not draw an out, so I'm just going to scoop. Okay. Good game. Uh, it was an odd game. Uh, I, I feel like you were mana screwed too much of the game to... Oh, one more card. <laughs> one more card. It was the next card. Holy cow. Oh, yeah? yeah. What was it? Earthquake? What, what, one of my outs was the next card, and it would have been awesome. It would have been great. It would have been great for the stream. It would have been fun, <laughs> but alas, it did not happen. Orcs. Orcs is the bestest. Orcs is yeah, also the directest. Really so. so. Alrighty. So, um, I'm going to go against convention and I'm going to let you play first. Okay. Okay? Yeah. Because I think I want to draw that extra card. Okay. I can see it. I mean... I mean, I don't know if it's the right thing to do, but... Uh, uh, your deck... My deck has serious tempo and not much else yeah like you can get out there and get that extra start i feel like you you've got a wall that i can't get through but mm -hmm. i guess we'll find out yeah i mean if i can get a yidwin on the table i mean you have to you have to two for one to to get it off the table so yep yeah, the the double bolt to get that it was so bad i wanted to hit you in the face with both bolts but i saved mm -hmm. them because i figured I can't get around that. Even if he's a unreliable blocker, he's still a blocker. All right, so you are on the play. Good luck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'll keep it. I'm going to mulligan. So my deck does not like me today. <laughs> Just one of those things. Does. That. Apparently 24 I mana swear sources. To God, whatever. 24 mana sources isn't enough sometimes. <laughs> yep. I feel bad. All right. To be fair, five of them cost one mana. But <laughs> regardless...
We might have to go back to the drawing board on this one. try it okay what's the worst that can happen is that I lose right yeah uh, no risk you know no reward game right. of magic kitchen table uh, right. orcish captain again okay. I will draw I will literally play a mounted into a mana vault go ahead I really like that mountain thank you so uh, this was uh, one of the viewers sent this to me, and uh, nice. I felt it appropriate for uh, for Pride Month. And uh, I've actually I've run it on stream a couple of different times as well. Um, you know, as uh, an ally of the uh, LGBTQ community, um, I don't know if it's politically correct to call them the Alphabet Mafia. They call themselves that, so I don't know if I'm allowed to. <laughs> yeah. So, Hey, I, it's it's excellent. I uh, if somebody wants to send me one, I would run one also because it's yeah. an amazing um, statement my, and it's uh, amazing. My nephew on my wife's side just came out as trans. Um, my nephew, uh, so so now, sorry, she's my niece now. Excuse me. Um, same thing happened with uh, my nephew on my side of the family came out as trans, so she's now my niece. Um, so it. Uh, um, yeah, definitely want to show my support for family. So. And, you know, I also don't want to be a, a, a crappy person. <laughs> <laughs> Generally, right. that's that's it. It's just yeah. try not to be awful. That's that's my every day. If I yeah. if I'm not awful, I have at least succeeded in the day. Yeah. Ah, another mountain. This is a. Uh, from anthologies, it's uh, the white bordered Arabian Nights mountain. It's got the scimitar. It on. is. <laughs> it does. I have a couple of those. Those are amazing. Mm -hmm. And again, like, I, I can't believe the prices of shit right now. Like, oh yeah. I used to have a whole deck of Arabian Nights mountains, and they were like two bucks a piece or something. I remember trading Arabian Nights mountains to get Bane Slayer angels. So. Oh. Yeah. That feels um, bad. All right, uh, I'm done. Go ahead. Although my worst trade ever was a Tyaga for a living wall, so. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah, I, I mean, I needed that wall deck to be complete. Yeah. Attack? I'll take three. I'm at 16. Orcish veteran? Okay. Go ahead. All right. Draw. Cards in your hand? Three. Three. All right. Probably going to regret this. I'm going to cast a Mountain Yeti. Oh, I love Mountain Yeti. Uh, I'm going to take one a mana point over. of mana burn down to 15. Yep. And then I'm going to say go. He is a 3-3, three, three, correct? 3-3 three, three with mountain walk, protection from white. Mountain? Yep. Oh, this is bad. We'll fireball the Yeti. Sure. And then we'll get in there for five points. Five points. I'm at ten. Go ahead. I'm at nine. Again, your your mana is failing you, buddy. Yeah. Feels bad. Lotus for red. Get him into free. Very nice. Go ahead.
your life total? I'm at nine. Swaying the team. Um. What's the one on your right closest to your deck? Uh, closest to my deck is uh, Orcish Veteran. That's the 2-2. Two, two. Has the weird can't be blocked by white creatures and with can the gain first power of one. First okay. strike. Yeah. Weird right. dude. I'm going to block that one. Okay. All right. I want you to call the die roll. If you win the die roll, then it becomes unblocked. Odd. odd. Always odd. Always yep. odd. It is odd. So it becomes unblocked. So I take five. And you're at what? I'm now at four. Okay. Um, Orcus General? Sure. Go ahead. I'm at three. Hope you drew a mountain. I didn't draw a mountain. Um... Oh, that might Animal. help. Yeah. Maybe? I... But, I mean, if I tap the mana vault, then I take two next yeah. turn. Yeah. I... Okay, well, I, I'm going to do it. I'm going to cast a Falling Star. <laughs> nice. A four creatures? Four creatures. Okay, so uh, we're going to go with... Um, Iron Claw creatures. Orcs. Yeah. Captain. Right? Yeah. The, the flippy one. Whatever you flip. You've got all of them. We yeah, only but I have, have to hit, creatures, right? We so. have to differentiate. That's all. So, mm -hmm. um, so Iron Claw Orcs, the 1-1, the, one one, yep. the the one you just cast, and then the, the other 2-2. Two, two. Right. Let's see. Okay, so the 2-2 two, two survives. The one you cast and the two smaller ones go away. So Iron Claw is still on board. The one... No, 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 no. The one you just cast... Oh, right, no, no, no. The 2-2... Two, two, the 2-2 two, two, uh, Orcish Veteran is the one that didn't get hit. The one that you just cast and the two smaller ones went away. I just cast Orcish general but if you said veterans that's fine i don't you know it doesn't matter to me yeah the the veteran stays yes yeah cool. because veterans it hit the these one. three and this yep. was representing the one you just cast so okay we're good then. yeah um i take one point of mana burn i'm at two and i'm gonna say go so i can lose if you attack and i lose a flip or i can just lose on my upkeep so <laughs> that's yeah, that's true. Uh, Iron Claw and a Captain oh. and I swing. All right, so I'm still going to block. I, All right. Yeah, I, I, I love coin flips. That's All right. the, the so coin Are you still calling odd? Coin flips. Yeah. <laughs> Always odd. It is odd. So it becomes unblocked oh. and I lose. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Amazing. Boy, Good. my deck hates me. It's like, what, what kind of kick in the junk was that to, to draw yeah. the. Oh. To draw the the mana vault there. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you just needed a damn mountain instead of a mana vault, like. Yeah. So I uh, I boarded in two. Yeah, I stones. actually put another mana vault on the bottom of my library when I'm all. <laughs> so. Yeah. Oh man. <laughs> the little one in chat says, "Now we need a copy of Falling Star." Thanks, Rich. Yeah. Uh, I have three. Um, you know, this is my artist proof um, that I that I run um, when I when I run a singleton uh, of it, and uh, it's definitely a, a fun fun card. Um, I, I like it a lot. Um, it, it doesn't see enough play, in my opinion. So, yes. um, I took out the new I took out the blood moons, things. and I put in uh, the falling star and a. Uh, earthquake and 
needs a disk, I think. Yeah, disk. I just, I didn't have a lot of options, so. Yeah, our, it was very, it's a weird mirror match in a way that it's not a yeah. mirror match. Yeah, I was like, I mean, obviously Flash Fires and Sitting in a Bottle isn't going to do anything against you. Shatterstorm is probably useless against you. Red Elemental Blasts, of course. Shatters yeah. and I mean, vices. my entire my entire sideboard is useless against you. <laughs> yeah. Orcish Raiding Parties plus Elemental Blast, <laughs> Shatterstorm, Sitting in a Bottle. Yeah, um, so it's just like putting cards that are less useless than Blood Moon. That, that's pretty much it. So... That was my. It was double Meekstone plus a, a Nevin Rells. And I, I didn't see either of them, so they didn't matter at all in the game. Right. Right. I mean, it. Uh, I know Meekstone's pretty good against me, not gonna lie. So. <laughs> yeah, I just didn't see it. Like, it would have been a. It would have been a pretty spicy play, but. I didn't see it at all. Yeah. So. It's my. This deck doesn't like me. It's like I've got twenty-five mana sources. Sorry, twenty-four mana sources. Five of them cost one mana because I've got four mana vaults and a soul ring. But uh, yep. that means that 19 of them are free. And of those 19 that are free, uh, that means that 18 of them produce red mana. So I just... Uh, yeah, I just... you're running the exact same. So I run 18 mm -hmm. mountains plus the other mana sources. And my average mana curve is... 2.1 or something yeah so like, I like my, my, most of my stuff costs three so just yeah. the fact that i'm having a hard time getting a three really really sucks so yeah. it is what it is it's it's fun you uh, know it, it's a cool deck yidwinner free is definitely a fun card that uh, uh, uh you know i, I, I like uh you know it's like i, I wanted to run them it's been a while uh i mean i've never owned them before um like uh those in the the mije gin or whatever um it's called <laughs> But yep. uh, the Yidwin of Free makes more sense because of the fact that it there's no drawback to turn it sideways and attack. So, um, yep. Whereas uh, the yeah. Mijay Jin is a 6-3, and you flip the coin when it attacks, and it dies to Lightning Bolt. So it's just one of those things. Yeah. I just picked up some Yidwins and four Mejays. A couple. So one Yidwin, uh, one Arabian Mejays, and then bunch of revised but like yeah that's it's it's a deck in the work that is coin flips mm -hmm. <laughs> with you know i might throw green in there for berserk because i feel like you have it you have it pretty tuned in your deck like the ball lightnings the bloodlusts yeah i feel like taiga and just just to throw a, a berserk in there somewhere um is where i'm I'm kind of trying to key. Yeah, in, yeah. I mean, maybe I got greedy by putting the orgs in there. You know. Yeah. You know, maybe I should have cut the orgs and put uh, former mountains in there. Um, you know, and maybe we'd be uh, playing different games now. I mean, with the frequency that I'm drawing these these mana vaults, it's it's ridiculous. But I mean, that's why we play the games. You know, I mean, yeah. on, on paper it looks like a decent deck, but yeah, you know. You, you play the games in, in one respect um, and, you know, they can be completely and totally different than, than what you drew it up to be. You know, it's just like if, if people take uh, a deck that wins a Pro Tour into their Friday Night Magic, you know, they could know the ins and outs of the decks and the matches ups and the matchups and the cards that are drawn could just be absolutely horrendous. It's just one of those things and you could end up, you know, going 0-3 in a Friday Night Magic. You know, it's like I might go zero and three today with with this deck, which is all kinds of fun. <laughs> but <laughs> is what it, yeah. hey, I mean, I, I I lost to Craw Giants and you know, um, forces forces of nature. Like I can't be upset oh about gosh. that. You know, was that a Eureka deck? That's got to be Eureka. No, right? like, it's not a Eureka deck. It oh, is absolutely I... not a Eureka deck. Just uh, my deck, my deck could have beaten it if I drew mana, but. Because of the fact that I, my opponent was able to ramp up and and get these big creatures, you know, it's just one of those things. Like, I mean, my my big creature is a 3-6 three, for 3, you know, that most people have to 2 for 1 themselves in order to get rid of. But uh, um, if I don't get to that 3 red mana, then 
it does nothing you know ball lightning does nothing if you don't ever get to cast it so um, maybe and the best maybe, the best uh, part of card advantage is is you know the opponent dying with cards in hand that they couldn't cast so. i don't know if uh, like i don't know your deck list but um perhaps fire spirit berserks and array growth like might I, be able to, I, I don't, to fit in there i don't think adding a second color is the right answer i think that taking out the mana vaults and the orgs and and replacing the mana vaults with mountains was is the yeah. correct thing to do and then i could put yeah. something else in for the orgs uh you know uh who knows who knows what i could put in for the orgs um there's only three of them in the deck so uh you know it could be even dragon whelps for for god's sake something something but uh, actually you're the creatures you have are relatively beefy or mm -hmm. ephemeral like ball lightning have you considered smoke smoke is a super underrated card oh yeah i didn't even think about smoke yeah i feel like because you're really only attacking with one creature at a time and he's huge or it's a creature that dies at the end of combat so it doesn't matter yeah like i i feel like because my my deck just kind of overwhelmed you at the end you just didn't have the mana you didn't have the you just didn't have a responses. You could you could get rid of one or two at a time, but if I'm dropping two creatures a turn, right, it's it's tough. But smoke would have just ruined me. I couldn't. Yeah. I couldn't handle. I and it's obviously situational. I was like, you know, if I yeah. if I could have, uh, you know, cast a, you know, drawn the earthquake. Earthquake would have been better there, obviously, because I could have earthquake with what was on the table, to get yeah. uh, to get rid of a couple of things. Maybe no, yep. no. Well, I mean, I wouldn't have had to take... No, Earthquake would have dealt damage to me. So, no, that wouldn't have happened. But uh, <laughs> yeah. you know, it's just one of those uh, things. Like, I was holding the um, the Falling Star for a couple of turns, um, hoping that I wouldn't have to, uh, you know, resort to what I did, which was, you know, take Mana Burn and draw uh, a Mana Vault and, and whatnot. I was hoping for a Mountain, obviously. But... Yeah. It's all right. No, I, I think there's a good, you know... The deck idea is solid. It just needs a little refinement. Yeah. And I, I think splashing green, you either have to splash green or you really have to go hard, and cut some some of the chaff. Like if you splash green, you could go living artifact, and the earthquake makes sense, right? Like you have enough artifacts with mana vaults. With living well, I mean, I wouldn't go so far as to put living artifact in my deck, but. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, I mean, if I splash I like green, Jake. I could put the Berserks in. Um, yep. I And I could take out the Bloodlusts, obviously, because Berserk is better. Um, yeah. But, uh, yeah, like I said, cutting cutting the four Banner Vaults for four Mountains is, is probably the right thing to do, um, Ooh, given the fact seven. that, you know, I've got Ball Lightnings and the Yidwins, you know, that all require Triple Red, and that's what I'm having uh, the hardest time doing, is getting that Triple Red. Um, and Sylvan Library could replace the Tomes. Oh, there's only one tome in there so okay. yeah i don't know i mean i'll play around with it i mean i don't play the same deck every week so it'll be you know six months before i i put something like this back together but who knows we'll see what happens yeah all right that's how i do like that's why i'm playing stupid orcs <laughs> <laughs> yeah all right man thanks for the games i appreciate it good luck next round all right I did. thank you sir bye. all right bye well, chat, we sucked out there, didn't we? But, uh, you know, it, it's bound to happen sometimes. Um, so uh, we're hoping maybe, fingers crossed, maybe we can pull something off in round number three. Uh, not looking good for the home team, but that that's all right. Let's take a look at what the deck is that we are running today. Uh, mono red, big red. Uh, try to get big creatures on the table, try to turn them sideways, try to do awesome stuff, and hopefully not lose as frequently as I am losing. But, uh, you know, what are you going to do? Things happen. That's uh, part of magic, and uh, we are just going to have to do what we've got to do and move on. Yeah, so um, I'm definitely thinking that uh, if I would have taken out the four mana vaults, put in... Even if I put in two more mountains, I don't know. All right, so I take out the four mana vaults for, say, three or four mountains there. Take out the orgs because the orgs aren't that great if I can't 
um, power them out with a, a mana vault. Um, so uh, that gives me three or four slots to play with. I guess I could have put another uh, Blood Moon in there. Uh, maybe Suchi's or something along those lines. Um, you know, who knows? Uh, a lot of stuff that could be in the deck. Uh, you know, what it could have should have are definitely a part of life and a part of magic. But, eh, what you're going to do, right? So, uh, I am going to, uh, let's see, how much time do we have left in this round? Uh, not a lot. So, what we're going to do is that uh, we are going to um, we'll take a break. I'll be back in just a little bit. And then we will uh, play some more old school magic. So please, don't touch that dial.
Welcome back, everybody. I appreciate you all sticking around through the break. Um, we are, I've just finished playing round number two of three. Um, if you um, join me each and every Tuesday night, I play three rounds of Old School Magic as part of the Northern Paladins Tuesday Night Gauntlet right here live on my Twitch channel. If you join me each week, Tuesday night, 8 p.m. Eastern, uh, don't forget to follow. Um, if you want some more information regarding the Northern Paladins, Head on over to northernpaladins.com. Uh, the link is in the chat right now. So um, today, let's take a look at what we are playing today. We are playing a pile of red cards, big red. So the object of the deck is to get big red creatures onto the battlefield, or big creatures in general using red, red mana, um, early and often. The problem is, is not happening. <laughs> So, um, I think with uh, the, I think that even though I'm mono red, the Yidwins and the Yidwin of Freets and the uh, Ball Lightnings are just uh, too much. I think I needed to uh, uh, to put some more mountains in the deck by uh, cutting those um, the mana vaults. And if I cut the mana vaults, it means that the orgs would have to come out because they're not that great if they're coming out on turn you know five. Uh, so we cut the mountains, cut the orgs, uh, sorry, cut the mana vaults, cut the orgs, uh, put in some more mountains so that uh, the ball lightnings and Yidwin Freets are easier to cast. Uh, freeze up a couple of slots. I guess I could throw in a couple more chain lightnings and uh, maybe the fourth uh, blood moon. Who knows? But is what it is. Uh, we're going to still play out that third round, and we'll see what we can do. Perhaps we can get on the, the plus side. So out of the sideboard, Red Elemental Blast um, against uh, Blue Cards City in a bottle against the Arabian Knights cards. Black Vice against decks that uh, like to draw lots of cards or keep lots of cards in hands. Uh, for example, I don't know, maybe if uh, somebody is playing uh, Tax Edge or something along those lines. Uh, Falling Star has come, came in last round against uh, the Orc deck. Um, Shatters and Shatterstorm for uh, artifacts. Never Nero's Disc is just a, a decent, uh, you know, catch-all card. Flash Fires against uh, White and Earthquake again against the creature decks. So uh, we'll uh, we'll see what we can do when it comes to round number three. Um, you know, it initially looked decent on paper, but uh, not so good in practice. But you know, we'll see what we'll see what happens. Um, so uh, coming up soon, um, probably as early as uh, tomorrow, um, I'm going to be streaming some Final Fantasy Randomizer. You take the original Final Fantasy for the NES, and uh, they speed up the game and shuffle the location of the key items, and you race. So uh, you see we've got the little tracker there on the right-hand side, um, and uh, that keeps track of uh, the items. We've got the timer in the left-hand side so that uh, we can keep track of our time, and then uh, we play the game. And uh, um, each seed is uh, a little bit different, and each game is a little bit different. Um, I did end up, uh, I did stream some Final Fantasy Randomizer two months ago. I didn't do so well, uh, but uh, I've gotten better. We're in the middle of what's called uh, the Duckling Boot Camp. The Duckling program for Final Fantasy Randomizer is a great program that they have where uh, they take uh, the newer players under their wings, uh, uh, pun intended, um, and uh, you know teach them the basics of the game and try to, to evolve them into uh, better players and better runners. So the boot camp is eight weeks. Um, and over the, uh, over the course of eight weeks, uh, the difficulty gets ramped up a little bit more so that you can learn more about uh, about the game. Plus, um, if you talk to uh, the veterans in the uh, Final Fantasy Randomizer Discord, you know, they're more than willing to help out and, uh, um, you know, get uh, the, the ducklings up to speed so that maybe they can uh, become uh, a little bit better. So that's what uh, I've been doing. I, I am considered a duckling. Uh, I've only been playing for two months. And in that two months, I have uh, gotten better. And I'm hoping that uh, at some point in time that I can uh, do uh, even better than what I'm doing now. 
Um, but uh, I'm happy with the progress that I'm making, and I would still like to get a little bit better. So we'll see exactly what happens. After the eight weeks of the uh, Final Fantasy Randomizer, or Final Fantasy Randomizer Duckling Boot Camp, um, it, uh, there are uh, a four-part race called the Duckling Derby. Those will happen on uh, Sunday nights at 9 o'clock beginning July 11th. And uh, they, the, the point system is, uh, you know, first place gets the most number of points. So, for example, I don't know if it's going to be, like, maybe first place will get 40 and second will get 35. And then, you know, um, it'll go down uh, from there. Um, as long as you finish, you'll get some sort of points. Uh, and then your total points after all four races uh, are, is your final standings. And the uh, 10 highest point totals graduate from duckling boot camp um, and are no longer considered ducklings. Uh, whoever wins the uh, the duckling derby becomes duckling supreme for the season, uh, which is a, a title currently held by someone named Dead Pulse. Um, and uh, yeah, it's it's a fun time. It's uh, there are a lot of speedrunning communities where the secrets are really, you know, held tightly, and uh, strategies are not shared a lot, and you know things like that. However, when it comes to Final Fantasy Randomizer, it is you know technically a speedrun community. It is a randomizer community. Everybody wants to see everybody else succeed. It seems like that everybody wants to work together towards that common goal of getting more people to play and then getting all the people who are playing just a little bit better each time, you know, so that uh, there, there's more competition and, and more fun and whatnot. So um, I, um, if you guys were not aware, um, I've played uh, Nintendo games since 1985. Uh, I got uh, uh, an original NES for Christmas in 1985, and uh, it uh, was something that... Uh, meant a lot to me and it was uh, something that uh, I grew up with and uh, I collected retro video games for for quite some time um, when it comes to Final Fantasy I've got uh, the map for the original Final Fantasy hanging up right there uh, behind me um, and whatnot so uh, um, you know it is just one of those games that uh, that uh, means something to me so it looks like we have an opponent and our opponent is uh, going to be Bruins. So uh, let's uh, let's let Bruins into into the stream, shall we? Alrighty. Hey, how's it going? You're muted. There you go. How's it going? Oh. Very nice. <laughs> <laughs> so, how did you do on Saturday? Uh, second place. Nice. What were you running? Uh, just some red green fun stuff. Red green fun stuff. Were you playing two chaos orbs as well? Yes. Ah. Yeah. So uh, over the weekend, everybody, uh, there was uh, the Northern Paladins held um, uh, a tournament, and um, all proceeds went to charity. And you could pay 10 extra dollars to run a second copy of Chaos Orb in your deck. Most people did decide to do that. And uh, there was uh, some nice money raised for charity for that. Um, I was out of town uh, for uh, my wedding anniversary uh, with my wife and my son. We went camping. So, But uh, uh, Bruins got second place, which is pretty awesome. Uh, Bruins is a regular here uh, on the stream, both in the chat and in the stream itself so uh glad to have you here and as always i i thank you for everything that you do for the excuse me for the stream earlier today i got a package in the mail from bruins and uh he uh he contacted me about uh wanting to know if i knew anybody who wanted to get into old school and he sent me a couple of bricks of cards uh to give out to two players who are fairly new to the game and uh, so uh, my friend uh, Jeremy and my brother-in-law Nate are going to be the recipients of those. So uh, I definitely appreciate that. I'm sure that they are going to as well. I already told them that they are getting the cards 
and they are ecstatic, especially when it comes to playing old school magic. So you That's are awesome. a good man, my friend. I appreciate it. Um, go ahead and put uh, two on top of three and both on top of one. All right, you can do the same. Two on top of three, both on top of one. All right, and do you want to call even or odd? Uh, I'll go odd. It is odd. It is a one. All right, I'll try it out. All right. Best of luck. You too. Thank you. I'll be throwing this one back. All right. I will keep. Any sort of cut? Uh, no, just do whatever. You're fine. Did you happen to get the uh, smaller package today as well? I did. I did. Um, I haven't. I haven't talked to the stream about that yet. So. I was just wondering if it got there. <laughs> yep, it got there. I've been having some uh, USPS problems. <laughs> yeah, 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 I hear you, man. I'll keep this and throw back. Okey doke. All right. We'll go Ruby C pass. All right. We'll draw. Could you scoot the cards up a little bit? Yeah. Hang on for just a second. Thank you. Um, I'm gonna go Mountain Soul Ring. Go ahead. Go Badlands Wheel. Oh, okay. Um, two copies of Org, a Shivan Dragon, a Mountain, a Dwarven Ruins, and a Yinwin of Uh Boomerang, Solknor, and an uh, Island. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I will pass. Okay, untap. Draw. Mountain. Blood Moon. Okay. Go ahead. Untap my mountain. Draw. Play an island. Uh, flying men? Sure. Go ahead. Um, and step bolt to flying men. Okay. Untap. Draw. Round, Round timer, timer started. started. Um, I will play a Mishra's Mountain. And I will cast a Ball Lightning. Attack for six. I'll bolt the ball. Okay. Which, from a flavor standpoint, makes absolutely zero sense that a lightning bolt kills ball lightning. I'm just saying. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> I agree with that. I think the worst feeling for me personally is when they bolt juggernaut. <laughs> yeah. Uh, play mountain. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. Draw. Uh, mountain. Mana Vault. Okay. Play another Blood Moon. Alright. Go ahead. Well, I definitely got mountains. Uh, play 
an island. Mm-hmm. Shivan Dragon? That is a Shivan Dragon. Okay. Go ahead. Alright, untap. Draw. Cards? I have four. Okay. I will play another Mana Vault. Well, this feels bad. I'm going to bloodlust your shivin so that I okay. can bolt it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Now you hellbent. Go ahead. <laughs> well played. <laughs> I, I don't know about that because I did have to two for one myself. I have no cards. <laughs> um, another mountain. Go ahead. Okay. Untap. Draw. Go. Not sanded. Yep. All right. Go ahead. Mountain, go ahead. Uh, upkeep, take one, go to 19. Boot, I'm winning. <laughs> For a Draw. second. Uh, swing three. 17. Uh, go ahead. Mana Vault. Go ahead. Uh, upkeep, take one. And draw. Play uh, Mountain. Yep. Swing three. I'll take it. Fourteen. I will side blast you. Sixteen to ten. And then do it again. More. Palm Twister, see if we can get some cards. Uh, yeah, sure, that works. I will say go. And step. Bolt you. Okay. And then I will bolt you again. Uh, in response, I'll bolt you. Okay. So 10 to 7. All right. Untap. Drop. Ball lightning. Attack. Okay. 
Bloodlust? Bloodlust. Yes. Did I get there? Yep. <laughs> Whoosh. <laughs> I really thought about that bolt. I was like, he may have this. And there it was. <laughs> wow. I keep on uh, keep on drawing mana vaults like it's my job today. <laughs> Have a hog in there. So let's uh, let's see what else we can do. I think this is the answer. But I've been wrong all day, so who knows? Maybe it is the answer, maybe it isn't the answer. Appreciate everybody who is here tonight. We are in the final round of three of the Tuesday Night Gauntlet. We are playing against friend of the stream, uh, Bruins545. Uh, he also plays in the Tuesday Night Gauntlet on a fairly regular basis. Um, he supports the stream quite frequently by sending cool stuff or uh, sharing uh, and giving people uh, subscriptions to the stream. Definitely appreciate everything that he does. So again, thank you very much for that. Not a problem. Mm -hmm. Lydia said she's here too. <laughs> Jupiter, hey, thanks for joining the stream, man. Appreciate it. Nineties MTG is rating with a party of forty-seven. Wow, thank you very much for that. For those who are not aware, uh, 90s MTG is also a uh, uh, they stream uh, all kinds of older magic as well over there. So please, if you have not already done so, make sure that uh, you follow them uh, over there at 90s MTG uh, on Twitch. The link is in the chat. So uh, welcome everybody. I appreciate you all being here. Uh, we are in uh, round three of the Tuesday Night Gauntlet, playing uh, three rounds of Old School Magic today. Um, I am playing a mono red deck tonight. Um, I have not had uh, very much luck in uh, rounds one or two. Um, I have won uh, a game here, um, which has been the story of the entire tournament. I have been able to win one game in each and every match, but not been able to close them out. So we'll see what we can do. <laughs> do I need some Jam Day Tomes in that deck? I mean, maybe. Um, I mean, I have a Jalen Tome, but uh, um, we'll see what happens. Um, um, I definitely think that uh, I need to make some changes, um, but uh, we'll talk about that too. Um, so uh, you can put two on top. Yeah. We can do the same. Right. Appreciate everybody who is here from the 90s MTG stream. I will keep. I will keep as well. Alright. Play. A jet. A 
Okay, Soren. Okay, nice. Tutor. Okay, so you got a color list loading? Yep. <laughs> LeBrook says she's in the in in the background too, uh, just being quiet. Uh, hopefully she's cheering for me. <laughs> I know that uh, I know that she's your significant other, but I'm hoping that she's cheering for me. <laughs> Excuse me. You just yeah, you're good. All right. Uh, I'll burn for one, and your turn. Okay. All right. So I will draw, and I will play a mountain, and I will say go. <laughs> Thanks, uh, PB1983. I uh, appreciate it. Uh, yeah, uh, I work really hard to make the stream look good. I uh, appreciate it. So, uh, Steve is uh, said, cheering on uh, the. Come on, Slidek. We got this. Uh, and says for myself? No. Oh. Uh, all right. All right, go ahead. Untap. Draw. <clears throat> Mountain. Go ahead. Shivan? That is a Shivan. Go ahead. Draw. Mountain. Falling. Attack for six. Yeah, take six. Puts you at 13. Uh, go ahead. <laughs> Steve, uh, Steve 2112 Rush said Ancestral Order resolved if uh, you targeted me. <laughs> <laughs> He's not wrong. I would have allowed that. Back through? Yep. I'll uh, swing shiven. Yep, first. How much? Uh, just five. Okay. And Fifteen. Go ahead. Two cards? Two cards. Okay. Untap. Draw. Mountain. Disc. Okay. Go ahead. I'll swing Shivan. Okay. And I will swing a factory. All right. I'll take seven. Time walk? Uh, no time walk. I'll pass the turn. Okay. Untap. Draw. I'll play another mountain. Okay. I will activate the disc. Don't forget your mocks. Blood Moon? Uh, in response to the Blood Moon? Mm -hmm. uh, actually, no, that's fine. Alright, go ahead. Uh, instant. Bolt you. Alright. Island. 13 to 5. Go ahead. Untap. Draw. Soul Ring. Yeah. 
Jalen Tome. All right. Draw and discard. Yeah. Go ahead. Go. Time walk. Okay. All right, move the time walk. Untap, go. Go ahead. Untap. Draw. Gonna draw and discard. Okay. Discard a mountain. Gonna cast a mountain yeti. Alright. 3-3 three, three with mountain walk and protection from white. And you okay. can go. This artifact is Jalen Tome. Go ahead. Untap. Draw. Attack for three. Take three. Go to ten. Um... Granite Gargoyle. Alright. And you can go. Shivin? That's a Shivin. Go ahead. Um, end step. I'm going to draw and discard. Alright. Discard him out. Untap. Draw. Mount walk for three. Okay. Uh, activate the Jalen tone. All right. Draw. Discard. Um. Go ahead. That draw. Another Do I mountain. have to announce Mountain Walk as a trigger? Mountain Walk is not a trigger. It's just a, a static ability that uh, the creature has. I'll swing Shiva. I will block with my Granite Gargoyle. I will pump four times to make him a 2-6. Okay, I'll pump uh, Shivan four times. Yeah. Okay, man down. <laughs> uh, <laughs> go ahead. Um, end step. Lightning bolt you. Okay, I go to four. Untap. Draw. Activate the Jalen Tome. Alright. Draw. Discard a Dwarven Ruins. Okay. Ball Lightning. Okay. Attack. I will bolt the Ball Lightning. Okay. And I will blue blast the uh, Yeti. Yep. And uh, it looks like we are going to game number three. <laughs> All right. Shivan Dragon is a biggin. That's uh, what helped me a lot Saturday. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> <clears throat> yeah. 
Bloodlust would have been fine, except I still would have lost my creature, so. <laughs> Set that one. We are going to game number three. So every match today has gone to game number three. As you can see by the upper right hand corner, I am currently 0-2. Have not been able to pull off uh, a second win in a match yet tonight. But we will see. We will see, we will see, we will see. Um one on top of three and both on top of two. Uh, you can do two on the top. Two on the top. Okay. Um, all right. Good luck. I will play first. I will keep. Yeah, I'm good. Um, mountain, soul ring. Go ahead. Uh, the discard, uh, uh, I mean... It helps filter through. Like, I mean, you saw that I was the Jalen Tome allowed me to filter through all those extra lands that I drew. Um, in a deck like this, the card quality is more important than card quantity. So, uh, play a C. Mm -hmm. uh, ancestral. Okay. Jet. Uh, good. This quarter swamp. Okay. Go ahead. Um, the uh, the proxies for your power is that something that you did, or did somebody else do those? Uh, those are actually Dan's. Yeah. Yep. Oh, nice. Nice. I wasn't sure. They they looked a lot like the Dan Fraser stuff, but you do an excellent job when you when it comes to doing alters. So I wasn't exactly sure. I appreciate it. You're welcome. All right, so I'm going to play a mountain and a mountain yeti. And I will say go. Yeah, I considered trying to make this a gauntlet of might deck. And maybe that's the direction I should have gone. But... Play a serendip. That is a serendip. Go ahead. Alright, untap. Draw. I will play another mountain and I will mountain walk you for three. Yep. Put you to 17. And I'm going to cast an org. Okay. And you can go. Go to 16 on your upkeep. Yeah. Uh, for playing. Play an order of the Ebon Hand. Okay. Twenty three. All right, I will take it. 17. Go ahead. Untap. Draw. Dwarven Ruins. Okay. I'll attack with both. I'll bolt the Yeti. Okay. And take 
six. And I'm going to bolt your order. Sure. And you can go. Right, upkeep, I got nine. All right. Draw. Underground C. Mm -hmm. Uh, swing three. Fourteen. Go ahead. Untap. Draw. Attack for six. Uh, red blast. Blue blast it. Yeah. Or, yeah. Sorry. Okay. And uh, you can go. Untap. I'll take one, go to eight. Yep. Uh, we'll land for the turn. Shivin? That is a shivin. I'll swing three. I'm at 11. And go ahead. Draw. Factory. Okay. Ruby, go ahead. Put you down to seven. Uh, yep. Play land for the turn. There you go. Play an order. Yep. I'll swing eight. I'll take it. I'm at three. And I will play a flying man. Go ahead. You have no cards left? Okay, draw. You're at seven? Yes. Play a mountain. Chain lightning you. I'll throw it back. I'll respond. Okay. I'll bolt you. I die. <laughs> okay. That is it. <laughs> so close. If that was a regular lightning bolt, I think I win. <laughs> it's a regular lightning bolt, you die on your upkeep. So uh, it's like, oh, so close. So, so, so close. But uh, no cigar. Yeah, so uh, I went uh, over on the night. Ouch. That is a yowza. And uh, all three matches were two to one losses. So uh, apparently this is not the deck that I should be playing. <laughs> but... Thank you for the game, sir. And again, thank you for your support. Love having you on the stream. And uh, I appreciate uh, you helping out whenever you can. All right? Not a problem, man. All right. Take care. Bye. Mm -hmm. Well, chat, we were the suck tonight. So uh, let's uh, let's take a look at this thing. Uh, big red. Big red creatures using my mountains. Casting the creatures, turning them sideways, hoping to do so early and often. 
and uh, yeah, this uh, wasn't in the cards for me today. Uh, we had some mana issues in a bunch of different games, and uh, we just uh, didn't get there. So um, this is the sideboard that we played. Would have been nice to uh, have drawn that city in a bottle, I guess. Um, but, uh, you know, that Shivan Dragon was huge. It was difficult for me to deal with. I was on the cusp of wins so many different times. Yeah, Bruins, good games. Thank you very much. I definitely appreciate it. Um, on the cusp uh, a couple of different times. Just uh, couldn't quite turn the corner. And, uh, you know, things did not come to fruition. It is what it is. We, you know, win some, you lose some. It's uh, tough when every single match was a heartbreaker. But it is what it is. I, did I draw the fireball? I don't know if I drew the fireball. I don't even know if I cast that fireball. But uh, that uh, was definitely something that uh, could have been uh, a little bit better. So, you know, what you going to do? So um, I appreciate everybody who is here tonight. Um, again, my regularly scheduled stream, uh, we play three rounds of Old School Magic every single Tuesday night at 8 p.m. Eastern with the Northern Paladins as part of the Tuesday Night Gauntlet. So please don't forget to follow. Turn on those notifications so that you know when I go live. Uh, I'm going to be playing some Final Fantasy Randomizer on stream tomorrow. I'm just ex not exactly sure when I'm going to do it. Bruins, thank you very much for gifting some subs out to um, some new viewers to Burt Reynolds and to Sped Red. I, uh, I appreciate that as always. Um, thank you very, very much. So, um, with that, we are going to, um, we're going to, uh, bring you on over to our friend John Likes Games. So please stick around for the raid. I would appreciate it. And I know that he would as well. And with that, I bid you all a good night. Um, have a great night, and I will see you next Tuesday.